Hello and welcome. My name is Connor Lynch with Wessa Media Center, here to give you your 2021 unofficial annual town election results. This year, 18 names appeared on the ballot, running for 10 boards and 12 seats. In total, 2,283 voters out of the registered 11,840 submitted ballots. Let's take a look at the uncontested races first. For the Board of Assessors' three-year seat, Nancy Hyde received 1,602 votes, with 45 votes going to write-ins and 636 blanks. For the Housing Authority's five-year seat, Eric Alden was re-elected with 1,525 votes, with 19 going to other candidates and 739 blanks. For the School Committee's three-year seat, Maya Plotkin will retain her seat with 1,560 votes, 27 votes going to write-ins, and 696 blanks. The three-year term for Sewer Commissioner goes to incumbent Diane Hayes with 1,562 votes, 14 competing votes, and 707 blanks. Finally, the Town Treasurer, James Gavin, continues on another three-year term with 1,645 votes, seeing 11 votes for other candidates, and 627 blanks. Now we'll take a look at the contested races this year. For the Board of Library Trustees, there were three candidates running for two three-year terms. We can take a look now at the breakdown by precincts. Overall, Mary Maisie Phelps received 1,512 votes, with Denise Hebert receiving 571 and Maria Ryan gaining 991. With eight write-ins and 1,484 votes left blank, Maisie Phelps stays on the board and will be joined by Ryan. Next, we'll take a look at the one-year town moderator position, where Debbie Conant ran against incumbent Jim O'Sullivan. Here's a breakdown of those precincts, with O'Sullivan receiving 1,470 votes over Conant's 548, four write-ins, and 261 blank ballots. This brings us to the final result, with O'Sullivan remaining Westwood's town moderator. Now we take a look at the planning board races, and we'll start with the two open positions for a three-year term. Candidates Eric Alden and Ellen Larkin Rawlings ran against re-election candidate Chris Pfaff. We'll take a look at the precinct votes right now, which shows Pfaff taking 1,295 votes, Alden with 568, and Larkin Rawlings winning 1,203. With seven write-ins and 1,493 blank votes, this leaves us with Chris Pfaff and Ellen Larkin Rawlings on the planning board. Now we can turn our attention to the one-year planning board seat. Candidates Phil Giordano and Kate Wynn ran to fill this vacant position, and in our precinct breakdown you can see that Wynn received 1,066 votes to Giordano's 821, with 9 write-ins and 387 blank votes. This means that Wynn will be stepping onto the planning board until 2022. Finally, we'll take a look at the select board positions, with Dave Atkins, Rob Gotti, and Bill McLaughlin running for a three-year seat. Here's a breakdown of the precincts, with Atkins taking 740 votes, Gotti taking 817, and McLaughlin taking 690. A single write-in and 35 blank ballots leaves Rob Gotti as the winner and the newest member of the select board. And there's your highlights of the unofficial annual town election results for 2021. Please visit the town's website for more information.